Hey, what's up? Welcome to another spooktacular episode of Atomic Martian Tour Reviews. In this episode, we review Savage Oppressed from the Star Wars Clone Wars series. And the only thing scarier than seeing Matt naked? Seeing a gremlin naked. So stay tuned. So, uh, you ready to do the show tonight? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'm excited. So, uh, I know we're all dressed up. Uh, what are you supposed to be? I'm a recently turned zombie, duh. Oh, God, that makes a lot more sense. I thought you were a male prostitute and a clown just came on your face. Jesus Christ. Well, excuse me. Next time um, next time for Halloween, I'll just call my good friend Tom Savini to come over here and do my makeup for me. You should. Yeah, I probably should, actually. You know what else we should do? What? Talk about this fucking toy. All right, let's talk about this fucking toy. <laughs> All right, we have Gremlins. This is the Flasher Gremlin from um, the newest series of Gremlins figures from NECA. And um, he looks pretty freaking awesome. He was in Gremlins 2, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, most of the stuff coming out in the um, the newest wave is from Gremlins 2, actually. Um, because Gremlins 2 had a lot more like unique and goofy-looking Gremlins and stuff. So. so they've really been releasing a lot of them. But like I said, this is a flasher one, and he does just that in the movie. He's one of the um, the gremlins that are kind of like the uh, comic relief yeah. of the uh, of the movie. He it's, just ran around, and that's why I love Gremlin Tunes. And to, to this day, Gremlins Two is my favorite Gremlins movie. Mm, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I, I like still like Gremlins One better, but I, feel like it was I a, like Gremlins Two. I feel like it was a Christmas movie too. I don't know. Both of them are Christmas movies. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. All some fantastic freaking Christmas movies. You know, sit down with your kids. Watch it and then send them straight to bed. Mm -hmm. Turn off all the lights and tell yeah. the movie's real. Well, I remember when I was a kid, I think the first Gremlins came out when I was like five or six or something. And um, all the advertisements had, of course, the Mogwais. Of course. On, uh, on, on the advertisements. So my parents thought it was a <laughs> kid-friendly movie and it scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> Go figure. I, I think I wet the bed until I was like... 17 or something. They try to give you a puppy and you're like, no, I'm afraid I'm going to get water on it, feed it after midnight, exactly. and it's going to turn into some freaking demon. Mm -hmm. That's right. I tried, to I tried to kill my sister while she was asleep. And stuff like that. <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, as, far as, or as far as the figure goes, I mean, the packaging is pretty standard NECA. Um, just basic plastic. You know, nothing too fancy with the insert in the back. Um, on the back, it has all the upcoming Gremlins figures there uh the lightning one looks really awesome oh, and the so phantom sick. one looks cool too the phantom of the opera one that looks really cool too and the combat gizmo that's pretty cool when he's rambo five god so awesome mm-hmm so oh, just looking forward to them they're all so sweet i know it's, it's gonna be hard not to pick up all these <laughs> honestly um but i say we get them out of package and let's check them out. open them up dude and here we have the flasher gremlin out of package, and he is flashing all of you out there in internet land. He is showing you his junk. He is showing us his non-existent gremlin junk right now. It's pretty graphic. Yeah, that's one thing I don't understand is, like, none of the gremlins really have any, um... They don't re reproduce the same way that no. humans do. Or mammals, so they... Because they re reproduce by getting wet. So... That's I don't right. really understand the concept of a flasher gremlin. Why? Why? I guess a slutty gremlin would be like a gremlin with a bottle of water. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it, but the fact that he's like running around like, ah, you know, I mean, yeah, you know, he's not showing anything. He's not showing the goods because he doesn't have the goods. He doesn't have the goods to show. Believe me, if he had the goods, we'd notice. Mm. But there are no goods there. No. Expert goods lookers right here. That's right. We have thoroughly inspected his, his genital area, and there's nothing down there that would... Fine-tooth combed it. That's right. But uh, on the plus side of him not having balls... I think he's freaking hilarious. Yes. I don't know about you. That's right. I, I love the going. sunglasses. I love the cigarette hanging out of his mouth. He looks like he looks like a, like a cokehead or something yeah. like that. Like someone on a coke band, bender, the party guy, you know... So then he really doesn't become yeah. a flasher. He's just saying yeah. hey to everybody. He's like he's the Robert Downey. Downey. He's a Robert Downey Jr. of uh, the Gremlins. Basically. Yeah, That's he's, he's Gremlin Downey Jr. Yeah, yes. That's what he is. <laughs> and, uh, God damn it. It's just hard not to love him. Yeah. You know, he's the life of the party. Yeah. And sure, he may be hopped up on cocaine right now. And he probably yeah. won't remember who I am tomorrow. 
But God damn it. Mm-hmm. You know, so, he somebody's got to be the life of the party. It's not yeah. an easy job. He, somebody's got to do it. He's just doing. be careful, Matt. He'll make you promises, and he won't remember them in the morning. I don't even care. I just yeah. wanna, I just wanna live in the moment. Oh my god! Oh my god! Into my face! Oh god! <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's check out the figure and see exactly what what we have here. Um, obviously, the sunglasses are removable, and um, the cigarette is removable too. Be careful because it's really small, and you might lose it. Um, he has he does have head articulation. Does side to side, the poltergeist. Just a little bit up and down, not much. Um, his wrists do bend, bend in and out, like that. And he has a little bit of shoulder articulation, yeah. so you can kind of close the, the oh, yeah. coat in. You can display him as either kind of holding, uh, he's being shy. But oh, it doesn't it doesn't shy. quite look right. Um, I'm think I'm not sure if this coat's removable. It might be. It, it doesn't really look like it could be because it's like a soft vinyl plastic, isn't it? Yeah, but the arms are really long, and yeah. it, I think it'd be very awkward trying to get them out. I don't know. So the coat may or may not be removable. Um, I don't want to change it because I don't want to break the figure. Yeah. Um, his legs do move up and down, like that. He mm. does have yep. bend at the knees, like that, and his. Ankles to or his feet kind of move up and down at the ankle, um, but very limited articulation. I mean, he's mainly a, a display piece, uh, basically a, a figure that you would you would have showing off his junk to the world. That you know, anybody that walks in your room, centerpiece of your collection. <laughs> yes, maybe, that's right. You put your mm-hmm. Supergirl looking away. Yeah, in shame. <laughs> in shame. Ah! Yeah. Um, but the sculpting of this guy looks awesome. His his Fantastic face looks detail. amazing. Yeah, the the detail of the face looks great, and to the point where I mean, yeah, the the sunglasses are kind of comical, but I almost don't want to put them on because it covers up too much of the face. Yeah, no, that face is like freaking beautiful, man. Yeah. I mean, as ugly and hideous as it is. Yeah, for being ugly and hideous, it's really beautiful. Hey, it looks awesome. Yeah, he does I mean, look he looks, awesome. When you step right out of the movie, mm-hmm. I'm afraid he's gonna flash me and then freaking bite my face off, you know? Yeah, he might just do that. He's possible. It, he's might, it might not in that order, though. Probably he not. Might, he might bite your face off and then teabag you. Yeah, it's true. You know, he's not thinking very rationally because of the cocaine. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's like, hey, I'm party guy. Teabagging time. So, I don't know. What do you think? I like him, dude. I think he's cool as crap, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm really impressed with all these figures out of this wave, um, or out of the Gremlins line. The first first Gremlins line, it's like, eh, you know, um, they were okay. Um, they're kind of boring, um, especially compared to the newest wave. So, the new batch of Gremlin figures. I guess the only thing I don't like is the fact that it's, I like that it's a removable cigarette, but it's just like, I'm afraid to touch him and move him because I know it's just going to fall right out. Well, like a regular cigarette, you like know. A cigarette. And he's just walking around with it hanging out of his mouth. He probably doesn't yeah. even realize it's there half the time. Yeah, yeah smoking on like the Hunter S. Thompson of uh, Gremlins. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he oh, choke, they choke cool. to death on the cigarette. Put on there. Yeah. Now he's all cool. Mm-hmm. Cigarettes make it just makes him look cooler than all the other Gremlins that yep. a cigarette does. Yeah. So when uh, when more of these become readily available, I I want to do review a couple more of them. So we'll we'll probably try to get more of them for the show and yeah. stuff like that. Um, but since it's Halloween now, I figured, hey, what what's better? to review than a figure that came out um, during Christmas time. Maybe based on the movie that came out during <laughs> Christmas time. So. so, there we go. Peace. God damn it. Ooh. All right, up next on the review doc, we got Star Wars The Clone Wars Savage Opress. Here is the awesome one in his sweet armored glory. He's all way better and armored up than the shirtless one that's out right now. And he comes with a double-bladed lightsaber, so he looks pretty sweet. And I just want to take a minute to introduce my brother Jay here. He is dressed up as Coco, the monkey from Michael Jackson. God damn it. So, yeah, Savage looks pretty sweet. He comes with his double-bladed lightsaber, and we can also tell that he comes with his badass battle axe that fires a missile. And that's pretty freaking sick. As far as packaging goes, would you like to talk about that? Would you like to say something, Coco? Yes, yes, I would. There you go, Coco. Oh, oh boy. So, let's look at the packaging here. Obviously, a nice big open window to see who? Savage Opress. And in case you don't know who it is, 
It says it right in the corner of packaging. Savage Opress. Where it well, actually looks like Savage Opress. But Sounds cooler when you say it that way. It does a little bit. A lot less French. And uh, here's a little shameless plug for the online part of this figure or series or whatever. It says, see this gear online. So you can actually hop online and see what it's all about. Plug for the TV show. Let's flip it around here. Have a little bit about Savage Opress. A sweet little picture of the figure out of package. Picture from the show. And guess what? Some advertising for the other figures. Always a nice addition to the packaging. Beautiful. Uh, anything else I missed, Matt? Uh, let me see here. I don't think so. Let's open this beautiful bitch up. Let's do it. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Get your paws off him, you damn dirty ape! Oh. Let's talk about this toy. Yeah, let's. Oh. Oh, the illusion's ruined. Yeah, whatever. It was never there in the first place. So here we got Savage, Savage, Opress, sitting out of package, looking all awesome. Dark Boom. Lord. Oh. I gotta do that. Do it again. Boom! Blow my Shit. freaking mind. Looking all Dark Lord of the Sith. Although, I don't think it's a full-fledged Sith. No. Nah. I don't know. It gets really confusing in Star I, Wars because you have, like, so many Sith Lords. And, and then... after a while, it's just like, they're, you know, I'm going to call myself a Sith. I'm just going to grab a red lightsaber and go for it. Yeah. You know, I don't even care. I'm not even really that bad, actually. I'm just kind of disgruntled. Um, it's like red. I call it red. That makes me a bad guy. Lord yeah. Yeah, you never, you know, the regular Jedi, I feel bad for anybody that likes the color red because they're like, oh, I really hate my lightsaber. Why is that? Well, I mean, it's blue. Well, what's wrong with blue? Nothing, really. It's just, I mean, my favorite color is red. If you didn't notice, I dress it all red, you know. I kill people. They call me, they call me Eric the Red, and I'm, wearing a, I'm using a blue lightsaber. Come on. Why can't I have red? Well, if we let you use red, then you're just going to turn evil and start killing us. It's just kind of what happens. You guys are fucking idiots. A bunch of fucking assholes. And that, that was the downfall of the Jedi. That's what happened. But we're not here to talk about the Jedi. No. We're actually here to talk about this guy, a sort of Sith. He's pretty freaking awesome. So he comes with this bad as shit double bladed lightsaber as well as not necessarily show accurate, but a badass looking axe that actually fires a missile, which is kind of a, it's a kind of weak gimmick, so I just leave it in there. It's cool. Looks and then really he comes cool. with this little display base and of course this card for that supposed galactic game, which also lends to this dice with things that are not numbers on there. It makes no sense. Makes me angry. Very angry. So let's talk about this toy. Let's please do. I'll take him off this display stand here. So right off the bat, taking Savage out of the uh, package, his lightsaber is actually in the free hand here, but it was all like spread out beyond belief. So you can no longer hold the lightsaber. That's why I put the axe in there. Oh. Which seems to work a lot better. Yeah, he holds on to it. Well, he would if Mac could put it in the hand. I could just stick it in. Well, you know, it doesn't have any hair on it. So, so his lightsaber rests in the other hand, which is super sweet. Articulation, pretty standard for a Star Wars figure. Head, full 360. Oh, it's Poltergeist and it's Ooh. Halloween. It's Exorcist. Exorcist and <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Woo! And he can moderately agree or disagree with, agree with you. He's a Sith, so he's never really going to agree. He'll always disagree because that's his... He's, He'll his say, sentence. you know, that's the least objectionable. That's... I'll accept that. Um, torso, full 360 here. No ab crunch, standard. Shoulders, limited, the movement on the shoulders here, limited just a hair by this armor, which actually can also move up and down. It's attached on the shoulder here, so that's pretty cool. But it does serve to limit the articulation just a little bit. Very cool. Typical elbows, full 360 on the elbows. A little swivel there at the bicep. And they bend up and down. And swivel at the wrist. Super cool. Better be careful. You don't want to chop off any of your head horns. Oh, that's how he dies. F me. Well, I guess you wouldn't have time to say F me. No. He's going to zap and dead. Yeah. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, knees, nice little about 90 degrees here on the knees he can bend. A big complaint for me, honestly, is the fact that Hasbro did not feel the need to give him any ankle articulation. So it's just one big boot. It Not a deal harm. breaker, but it just makes it harder to pose him. But it does, because if you try to get like a really wide stance, sometimes you have to adjust the ankle, and that guy won't. How do can it. he split now, huh? Huh? It looks weird. How is he gonna jump underneath that like little like limbo stick style force field? Oh, that popped off. 
Well, that's because you've raised it too high. Obviously. Internet. Internet land. Fix that. Your cat. <laughs> Your cat, cat. Anyway. Yeah, no limbo sticking for him. What? Well, he's pretty cool. Um, but honestly, I mean, this figure is so freaking B.A. And honestly, like, if you're like me, I watch the Clone Wars show. And part of the reason I collect the action figures is not because they look so incredibly fantastic and fit in with my Star Wars collection. But I like the look of the Clone Wars style. And this guy has got it down to a T. Also, he's the only three and three quarter inch uh, Savage Press other than the shirtless one right now that's out. Um, this is the only one that comes with his lightsaber. And those yellow nipples freak me out. They're really weird and yellow. It's like he's got scurvy. Kind of creepy. But um, this guy is just so... Oh, man, he looks so good. that He's just perfect to just kind of sit there and pose. And, he, you know, he's so just domineering and intimidating. It's, All right, Matt. Keep in your pants now. I can't help it. He's got that double-bladed lightsaber. Double-sided, you know what I'm saying? That stuff does... The double-bladed lightsabers give Matt a big old stiffy. It's true. I love them. Although, it's weird. These blades are a little shorter than a typical lightsaber blade. I mean, that's neither here nor there. Probably because he's not a full Sith. Probably not, yeah. Once he becomes a full Sith, he gets the big boy lightsaber blades. They take so the like, training wheels you know, off. Does it grow the more evil he gets? Yeah. Yeah. The more and more evil he gets, the more and more excited he gets his lightsaber grows, unfortunately. He's, he's got a semi right now. Yeah. So... You kind of make me angry. He's pretty freaking sweet, though. I mean, he looks... Well, my only complaint, and this is with most Star Wars figures, is that you can't move them out to the sides very far. It's a T-crotch. They've kind of fixed it on some figures, but not all of them. And I'm really disappointed they didn't do it on this figure. They didn't decide to fix them and give them better... I want a Savage Press that's going to be able to kick Obi-Wan in the face. Right in the face. And not just kicking him in the front. No, no. Goes out to the side, kicks him Goes right out to the side, and he's like, Shut up, bitch! Bam! Motherfucking bearded face. Or Anakin. Shut up, bitch. Bam! That scarred ass, dumb fucking face. Anybody else you want me to kick? Jar Jar Binks. Nope, he slices Jar Jar's head off. Every time in my world. Bitch. So that is Savage Opress. Anything else you want to say about him? <laughs> SpaceX! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. There you have it. Space accent at all. Woo! Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Atomic Martian Toy Reviews. Tonight we reviewed Savage Opress from Star Wars and the Gremlins Flasher figure, which were very awesome. Thank you for watching, and uh, make sure to check us out on YouTube. Check us out on our website, AtomicMartians.com. Uh, make sure to like us on Facebook, and um, I don't know if they can follow us anymore. Can they follow us on Twitter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. Um, Let's see, as I said, check us out on Facebook. Um, make sure to check out all of our sponsors, like tshortbardello.com, um, bigbadtoystore.com, radartoys.com, tenaciousdoys.com. And let's see, what else? What am I forgetting? Halloween. Oh, yeah, have a, have a happy Halloween, you know. Watch out for people that give apples. Make sure to egg their houses. It's Halloween candy. I mean, I understand that we're supposed to be living in a healthier generation, but it's okay to splurge one day a year, one night a year, really. Let your kids, let them go out and get some candy and get a little sugar rush going. Let them stay up late and watch a scary movie. And it's kind of fun just to see the reaction that they that you get, you know, when you let them watch Friday the 13th for the first time. You know, it's pretty tame by today's standards. But, uh, you know, little kids, they, they're going to be scared shitless. And it'll be pretty, well, it'll be funny to me. It might suck for you, but you should do it anyway. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Have your dogs and cats spayed and neutered. No, I'm not. Ape's not saying that. Ape don't believe in that. Ape don't believe that shit. Um, I don't know. Play with your ape nipples. Yeah. Are y'all still here? Get the fuck out. <laughs>